And fire is a natural part of life in Yellowstone National Park, but it's also something officials are constantly watching. High atop Dunraven Pass is the last remaining full-time resident fire lookout tower in the park. And this summer, MTN's Chet Lehman got an exclusive opportunity to take a closer look at Mount Washburn's fire lookout and to talk with the man who has called it his summer home for more than a decade. This is what the Mount Washburn fire lookout looks like today. It was a little smaller when it was first built back in the 1920s. Very shortly thereafter, they discovered that uh, it wasn't fit for today's modern lookouts because the windows were small. As you can see, this place has got some nice windows here. Uh, and they rebuilt it beginning in 1931. For a time, Yellowstone had as many as a dozen lookout towers. Mount Washburn remains as the last, hosting a full-time resident each summer. Ed Stark has been that resident for 12 years. Fire lookouts have been called everything from the eyes of a mountain to freaks on peaks, uh, stewards of the mountain. In Mount Washburn's case, tourist information officer also applies. Dozens of people almost daily in the summer make their way up the three mile trail to his home in the clouds. Fire lookout is his work, but because he's at over 10,000 feet, he even sometimes is the eye in the sky traffic cop. The people in tower don't like when I call them because that usually means I've seen a bear jam down below and uh, they've got a, a, a traffic jam that they're gonna have to go and break up. So, you know, we look around, we watch what's happening. Modern technology has changed the role of the fire lookout. Still, when he's not chatting with visitors, Ed Stark is scanning the park, looking for early signs of fire. I'm still gonna look out the window, you know. My Latin teacher told me that, uh, Mr. Stark, would you please pay attention? Nobody is going to pay you to look out the window. I wish Mrs. Johnson was still alive because I'd say, Yes, they're not paying me much, but they're paying me a little to look out the window. <laughs> High above Yellowstone National Park, Chet Lehman, MTN News. I love that. Now, while Yellowstone has had as many as a dozen towers at one time, not all of them were manned full time. Stark begins with a hike to the tower in March and ends with a return to his vehicle when winter returns. We'll have more on Yellowstone's fire lookout towers later this month, exclusively right here on MTN on special assignment.